Hi, Danny Ventura, the Boston Herald. We're here at Margo Spatola, the head of lacrosse coach here at Westwood High School. you got quite a player here in Alex Finn. As someone who's played Division One college lacrosse yourself, why is Alex a Division One player? Well, what Alex does um, on her own time is really what uh, makes a difference. She She's working constantly year-round um, on her footwork, on her stick work, um, on her shooting, absolutely everything so that she can get to our season um, in the best shape possible um, and and be the best she can for her teammates. And really, um, when she does that, she pushes her teammates. And obviously, she's preparing herself for college as well, but she's focused on this season right now. And it's, it's nice to see that she came into the season really prepared. Now, you played at Boston College, which is going to be her future destination. <laughs> As a coach, is it very special pride that, you know, she's not maybe following in your footsteps, but going where you're going? Totally. I mean, she's she's doing her own thing, um, but there's always a sense of pride when it comes to Boston College lacrosse. Um, we have Brooke Troy and Jillian Riley there right now, um, so it's always nice to, to see um, our players go there and, um, and find their own way there, um, but... I mean, even since I played there, the, the game has changed so much, and it's it's just so much fun to follow. It'll be even more fun being able to follow Alex. Yeah, Alex Finn, the star player here at Westwood High School and recent uh, Boston College recruit. As far as going to college, did you want to stay locally, or was that just something that happened? Yeah, I definitely wanted to stay local. I mean, my parents and my family has really played a big part in the transition and like kind of like helping me get recruited, and they've helped me so much through my um uh, college process and they've definitely been the biggest support system I could ever ask for so I wanted to like stay local. I mean, there are some communities that are known for certain things. Westwood is certainly known for girls lacrosse. When did you first realize how special it was? Um, definitely like the second I stepped foot on the Westwood High School grounds like trying out freshman year like you can tell like the connection that the girls have and like I really feel like it's like a family like I'm just as good friends with like the freshmen on the team as I am with the seniors and I think that's something that's really important, like the connection we have with each other. As far as here, there is there is that pressure. You know, they've got a lot of state championships. Has that put extra pressure on you to like live up to you know maybe the expectations of past seasons? I mean, definitely. We know that they've had so many state championships, but obviously that's like our biggest goal, goal is to like get back there. But we're taking it game by game, practice by practice, because we don't want to look too far ahead. You've scored a few goals this year. What makes a good goal scorer? Would you say in lacrosse? I think just like somebody that's unselfish. For me, I'm looking to assist my teammates before I'm looking to score, and I think that's something that's true for most of the players here at Westwood High School. We're looking um, for each other, and we'd rather assist each other than like score ourselves. So. As far as Boston College, what was it that sold you? Uh, I think just like the family like atmosphere on the Boston College team. You can tell right when you step foot on the BC campus that like everyone has just like a great connection with each other. Now the fact that coach went to BC, do you get any extra special benefits? <laughs> no. <laughs> she treats me just the same as everyone else. So you